In previous tips, you've heard about how not to create an introduction and how to focus your material on the audience so they'll want to hear your speech. So what exactly should go into your introduction? Well, let's start with the first line. What does the typical introduction sound like? Our next speaker is a certified world-class speaking coach. He has been speaking around the country for the last 15 years. He's worked with some of the finest speakers in the world, uh, including Hall of Fame speakers, world champions of public speaking, blah, 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 blah right? <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Instead of telling them about your background in that first sentence, why not set them up with a question that gets them immediately interested? For example, how would you like to have the ability to stand in front of an audience of any size, immediately capture their attention, keep them riveted and connected with compelling stories, and close with a rousing call to action that gets them to jump up and do exactly what you want them to do? Do you see how that's focused on the audience? And not just any kind of focus. It gives them a tangible benefit that they can grasp onto. As I talked about yesterday, if I'm discussing this topic with a group of pr prospective or newer speakers, they want that. They want to know how to grab an audience's attention right from the start. They want to create compelling stories that keep people's interest. And they definitely want to learn how to create a, a call to action that gets people to do something positive. So your first sentence should be focused all on specific, tangible benefits that the audience can take away from the speech they're about to hear. In our next tip, you'll hear about the next line that should go into your introduction. See you tomorrow.